Okay. So um, I try to walk as long as I can. And um, this morning when I was walking, I just had this vision in my head about tie dye. <laughs> right? And so what I was thinking is this. When you create um, a tie-dye t-shirt or whatever you're creating, you take a, a white t-shirt, right? And you kind of will um, take it and probably start to twist it around a lot, right? So you'll twist it and then you're gonna put a pretty tight rubber band on there. So you're gonna twist it tight, get that really, that rubber band, you're gonna probably wrap it two, three, four, five, as many times as you can wrap it. And then you're gonna take it, right? And you're gonna dunk it in your dye. And then it's gonna, <clears throat> it's gonna sit out for a while. And then after the whole process, right? You get this. So <laughs> what I was thinking was um, right now, we are being twisted. We're being wrapped with a rubber band. We're being dunked in the water. Maybe or maybe not, your beautiful tie-dye has already emerged. If it hasn't, it will, but you have to go through the process. So um, our sequence today is twisting, <laughs> All right, it's twisting. And um, there's something about getting a really good twist and then releasing, it's like a reset, you twist and then release, it's a nice, moment in time, Saturday, May 2nd. We've got the whole month of May up ahead. It's a reset. Okay, so from here, we'll begin with a breath. Um, it's called an echo exhale. So we'll breathe in fully through the nose, breathe out fully, pause at the bottom of the breath out, and then breathe out again. So it's like a double exhale, um, or hence the echo. So we'll begin, take a nice big full breath in and a full breath out. Pause at the bottom and breathe out again. Good inhale. Pause, breathe out. Pause and breathe out again. Continue this on your own with the pacing of your breath. One last echo exhale. And then breathing in fully and out fully. Good, blink the eyes open, roll the shoulders open and back and please come to all fours. And from here, from all fours, uh, go ahead and stretch your right leg out. Take your right hand a tad bit forward, and we're threading the left hand through, palm up, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, side of head. Now, maybe you'll connect the left hand and right foot. You can keep that right hand on the floor or stretch your right arm up. You can flip the palm so it faces behind you. Press the arm back, maybe take the half bind. So just simply being here and receiving this moment for what it is. Let the breath be as deep as it can be with your body in this position. Good, take one last breath. And release, right hand down, back to all fours. Stretch your left leg long. Take your left hand and tab it forward of where it was. Slide your right hand through, palm up, forearm up, upper arm, 
shoulder, side of head. If you want to connect the hand and foot, do. You can leave the left hand on the floor or stretch the arm up. Flip your palm, press the hand back. Take that half bind. You can let the head and neck be neutral. Maybe the gaze comes up. Don't force that. Let the belly receive the fullness that's available to you on the inhale. Good, last breath. And release. Come back up and come back to a neutral all fours. So from your neutral all fours, keep the hips over the knees, walk your hands to the right. Maybe take the knees a tad bit wider. I like a broader base of support. Maybe the right hand goes a tiny bit further away from you. Flip the left palm. Your left arm is going to kind of trace that long line of your mat. So same thing, forearm, upper arm, shoulder side of head rest on the floor. Keep your right hand planted or walk your right fingertips forward. Keep the right elbow bent. Press that arm back and away. This is a really effective twist for right, the mid spine, the thoracic spine, getting a deep rotation through the rib cage. Good, slowly release. Plant the right hand, come back to ne uh, neutral. And just pause for a moment. And then from neutral, walk your hands over to the left, broaden your knees if need be. Take your left hand slightly wider, right palm faces up, we slide through, palm up, forearm, upper arm, shoulder, side of head. You can keep that left hand down or creep the left arm forward. Press that arm away, so keep the left elbow bent. It's like a little lever. We press that arm back to help rotate the rib cage. Good, come back to center and find yourself back here on all fours. So take a nice big full breath in and full breath out. From here, inhale and then exhale, find down dog. It's gonna be fairly compact and that's fine because I want you to just begin to walk your feet up towards your hands now. And then bend your right knee quite a bit and get the right hand on the floor directly in front of your foot. Keep your left leg nice and straight and stretch your left arm up. Feel some of that similar rotation that we experienced a moment ago through the rib cage. Good. Release, bend your left knee, left hand is on the floor and stretch your right arm up. Good, slowly release. I want you to re-bend your right knee. This time, take your hands, interlace them together behind you. Lift your torso up so it's parallel to the floor and rotate the rib cage open here. Head and neck just pretty neutral. Make sure you don't create any tension. Good. Slowly release everything. Release the hands back to the floor and bend your left knee. Keep your right leg straight. Sweep your hands back behind. Interlace them. And then lift your torso up so it's parallel to the floor. And you can use some of the um, rotation of the, of the torso um, and the, the kind of drag of the arms to help twist it slightly deeper. Good, release everything, hands to the floor. Good, both knees bent, just clasp your hands, or hands clasp elbows. And just hang for a moment. Good, and then hands to the floor, inhale, a half lift. And as you exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Just with the head and neck relax. Maybe just kind of a little circle to make sure you're just pretty free there through the cervical spine. And then inhale, lift your heels and soften your knees, look forward, step your feet forward, take a half lift when you arrive, and fold. Good, strong legs, come on, way up to stand. Good. And then from here, as you exhale, side bend right. Inhale, center. And side bend left. 
Good, inhale, center. And then as you exhale, hands come and frame the feet. Find a half lift, soft knees. Step it back to down dog. Keep your knees soft and just sway your hips a little side to side. So as we sway, we get length through the side body. Because we, we want to, we're, we're twisting and we're finding ourselves slightly more compact, but we also want that feeling of elongation. So keep the knees soft, but the hips sway. You might even feel that sense of elongation all the way up through the um, outer armpit into the upper arms. Good, and then find a nice neutral downward facing dog. Good. Heels lift, knees are nice and soft. As you exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands, drop the right knee. Good, inhale, I mean left knee. Arms up. Good, I'm just pausing here. Let the shoulders drop down, you can interlace the hands. Just getting a full breath in, a full breath out. Good, last breath. And then exhale, hands to the floor. Lift your back leg. Please plant your left hand. Squeeze your outer hips together. Draw the low belly in and reach your right arm up. And so right, um, right at this point, um, you should begin to have this familiar feeling in the rib cage, right? Oh, that's interesting. I've been here before, right? That spiraling action. Take your last full breath in. Exhale, hands down. They frame the front foot. Good, downward facing dog. And please take the right hand, bring it through, and you can grab the left calf or towards the left ankle. Feel that same familiar elongation through the side body. You might feel a little more of a stretch underneath that right shoulder blade. I'm just creating a little bit of heat through the left arm. Good, last breath. Release. Inhale, heels lift, knees soft. Gaze forward, exhale, left foot forward. Right knee down, arms up. So just pausing in the lunge here. Letting everything settle in. Good, last breath. Exhale, hands back to the floor. Your right hand is your <clears throat> solid um, position there so you can squeeze the outer hips together, lengthen through the low belly, and stretch the left arm up. Twists are a really nice way to kind of explore and dive deeper into the exhale. Good, last breath. Release. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Take the left hand through, grab the outside of the right calf or ankle. If you find yourself shifting your weight to the right, see if you can come back to neutral. And breathe into the elongation you create through the left side and back body. Good, and then release that hand back to a neutral down dog. Good, from here, inhale, lift your heels, soften your knees. Look forward, step your right foot forward, plant your back foot and come into warrior two. So finding your warrior two, right foot forward. And as you inhale, feel free to just take a little bit of the bend out of the front knee so you can really kind of settle in. Right? You can decide fingers um, spread wide or close together. Take a nice big full breath. And then as you exhale, I want you to stretch forward. You can do forearm to thigh or hand to floor, arm over head. Take your side angle pose. I want you to really anchor down from the left hip to the left foot. Head and neck pretty neutral here. So we just, we're, we're doing a really nice amount of twisting. So we'll, in equal measure, lengthen the side body. Good, last breath. And then as you exhale, slowly release, come back to your warrior two. So come to triangle pose if you want. Heel toe your back foot in just a bit to get your stance a little shorter and stretch your front leg straight for triangle. Both feet are really actively pressing down. 
right? So we engage from where we connect. Good, last breath. Exhale, hands down. Feel free to take a vinyasa or simply find your way back to downward facing dog. And then let your heels lift, let your knees be soft, gaze is forward, left foot steps forward, plant the back foot for warrior two and come up. Good. So there's all those moments in time where you can make those small adjustments for yourself. Good, nice big full breath in. And then as you exhale, hinge and you can do forearm to thigh. That's a really lovely um, place to kind of dig into or hand to floor. Option, arm over head, bicep and ear are parallel. What is the pacing like here for you? Can the, the kind of the pacing of the class match the pacing of your breath? Can you dive slightly deeper into your exhale? Good, last breath. And then slowly bringing yourself back to your warrior two. And then I have a long stance, so what I do is I, I'll heel toe my back foot in once or twice, shorten my stance a bit for triangle pose. Your front leg is straight. Feet are down, right? So we have a solid, solid foundation that helps us stretch, elongate, and grow. Shoulders away from the ears, just kind of soften them to let the neck be long, last breath. Good, exhale, hands frame the front foot. You're welcome to come through a vinyasa. Good, inhale, lift your heels, soften your knees, exhale, feet to hands. Once you ride, take a half lift, breathe in. And fold forward, breathe out. Strong legs come up. Good, exhale, release. Okay, take a full breath in and out here. And then shift your weight to your left foot. I want you to bend your right knee, flex at the foot, and take that kind of like a figure four or ankle to knee position and sink down here. Getting into the hips, that outer bank of the hips is something that we tap into as we twist. So full breath in and out. Good, one last breath. And then press into that standing foot. Come on out, release, roll your shoulders open and back to the floor breath in. And full breath out. And shift your weight to the right foot, then the left knee and then flex at the foot. We take that position that Ankle to knee, hands to heart. We settle in, drop your hips. You feel deeply into that side seam of the hip. And so let the breath be full and deep all the way down to the bottom of the rib cage, into the little belly. Good, and then slowly stand yourself back up. Release the foot, roll your shoulders open and back. And take a moment in Tadasana. Take a nice big full breath in and full breath out. Okay, from the top of your mat, hands together, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, a half lift. And exhale, down dog. From downward facing dog, inhale, plank pose. Pause for a breath. Full breath in, full breath out. Good, inhale. And then exhale, shift yourself a little forward, lower all the way down, roll your shoulders open back and slide the heels of your hands back a little bit. So from the strength of the legs, lift the chest, we're gonna stay really low. So from here, inhale, I want you to press your hands down and kind of slide them towards your feet and stretch your chest forward. Good, and exhale, we're staying lifted. Good, inhale. Just breathing fully, stretching the chest forward, and exhale. Good, last breath, inhale. Good, and exhale, down dog. Good. From here, inhale, stretch your right leg up. Exhale, right foot is 
forward between the hands. Wiggle the left toes back, drop the left knee, sweep your arms up for a breath. And then as you exhale, slice that left arm across. Take a breath before you go anywhere. Full breath out. Draw the low belly in one more time. Full breath in and full breath out. And then you can begin to work your hands together in prayer. Keep the back knee down for this version. We'll revisit. So you can make a fist with your bottom hand and let your top hand cover it. You can do knuckle to knuckle here, or you can stay in prayer. And just continue. There's, it's a little bit of a balancing act here, really, right? We're squeezing the hips together, drawing the low belly and rotating the rib cage. Last breath. Good. Exhale, release. Good. Find yourself back and downward facing. Good. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left foot is forward between your hands. Wiggle your right toes back, drop the knee, arms up. Good. And then take the twist to the other side. So first, just let that arm come to the outside leg. Take a full breath in. And full breath out. And maybe with the breath out, you come slightly deeper. One last breath in. Exhale, outer hips squeeze together, prayer hands, or any variation thereof, right? Knuckle to knuckle works really well. Hug from outside in, right? The body is the container, right? The physical body, the bone structure, and then we have the organs as the content. Right, so we're kind of squeezing from out to in. Good, last breath. Slowly release and find your way back to downward facing dog. And take just a couple moments here breathing. Okay, last full breath in and full breath out. Inhale, stretch your right leg up. Exhale, look forward, stretch the right foot forward between the hands and hop your left foot in just a tad. We're the sole of the foot on the floor, it's at 45 degrees. Take your left hand and bring it to the floor right in line with the right big toe. Good. Take your right hand, use your thumb and press the hip crease back. Elongate your spine, begin to Rotate the rib cage open and stretch your right arm up. Good, strong active back leg. It's a nice support system. Good, release. Step it back, downward facing dog. Now, if at any point in time you'd like to take a vinyasa in between, please be my guest. We've got the time right now. Good, and then inhale, stretch your left leg up. Exhale, look forward. Place the left foot forward, hop your back foot in just a bit. Right hand now inside the big toe. Left hand, take your thumb, press it into the hip crease, elongate the spine, and from that elongation, stretch your arm up. Keep pulling that left hip crease back. Anchor into the posture by Activating the quads, right, the tops of the thighs. Use the right hand and the hugging in at the hips to rotate the torso. Release. Vinyasa if you would like or down dog. Good. Inhale, heels lift. Knees are nice and soft. Exhale, feet to hands. Inhale, a half lift, exhale, fold. Strong legs come up. Good, release. Okay, hands to your hips, soft knees. Take about a three quarter of a leg length stance back with the right foot. So um, you can step back and then readjust a little bit. So we want the hips to be able to swivel a little bit like this. It's always a nice kind of exercise. <laughs> So if you feel like you're on a tight rope, walk your feet like out a little bit. Option, hands on hips. Second option, clasp 
opposite wrist, elbows, or prayer behind the back, right? So you're gonna choose which option is right for you. So inhale, strong active legs, exhale, hinge, keep your hips neutral, take a full breath. Good, and then feel free to fold deep in. Keep the legs strong and active to lengthen through the torso, elongate the spine. Actively draw the shoulders away from the ears. Reconnect with the legs. Good, last breath. And then slowly come on up. You can keep a bend in that front knee if that feels better. Good, release the hands. Step that foot forward, take a full breath. Good, and now take a step back with your left leg. So we don't want your longest stance. That's a little taxing for the hamstrings. And you don't, you don't want to be too compact, so it's a, kind of like a, a nice happy medium. Hand choice, um, hand position, your choice, right? And then from here, your inhale is what's going to lift and lengthen your spine. You could even slightly look up. And then begin as you exhale to super engage the legs, elongate the spine, find neutral through the torso and fold. And keeping the legs strongly active. Your breath might be, the inhale might be quite full here. Head and neck relax. Good, on an inhale, strong legs come up, bent knee is fine, release the hands. Good, and step the back foot up to meet the front. Okay, so from here, <clears throat> revisiting that ankle to knee position, soften your knees a little bit. And shift your weight to your right foot, come back to that left ankle over right thigh, and bend. Good. Option to stay right here. Option to take your right hand to your right foot. Take a full, and maybe just keep the left hand in prayer. Full breath in. And then if you want, we're twisting. So we're taking the upper arm to the sole of the foot. Palms together. You can look down or you can slowly begin to send your gaze. Now there's an arm balance inherent here. If you come in, come in. Really pressing the foot against the upper arm, the upper arm against the foot to rotate the chest. Good, if your arm balancing coming out, we'll slowly meet hands at the heart. Come on up and release. Okay, rotate the shoulders and just pause for a moment, full breath in. Good, full breath out. Shift your weight to your right foot, bend your left knee, ankle over thigh. Just sink in. And you can stay just like this or hand to heel, sole of foot, and then half a prayer. And you can slowly begin to bring upper arm to sole of foot, your palms together, gaze down if you'd like. Again, arm balance inherent here. If you'd like to take it, please do if that's your practice. Good, Ooh, fall out if you need to fall out. <laughs> Slowly releasing hands together, come on up. Both feet down, shoulders open and back. Take the hands, interlace them together behind, just lift the arms up away from the body. Full breath in, exhale, bend your knees. Let the torso find the thighs and fold. Lift the shoulders up out of the ears. Let the weight of the hands facilitate a slightly deeper opening through the shoulders. Good, and then slowly release. Bring your hands to the floor. Inhale, find yourself in a half lift. And come through a vinyasa or come right to downward facing dog. Good, inhale, reach your right leg up. And coming into the pigeon pose, exhale, shift your weight forward. I'm walking my hands forward a little bit to accommodate the length of the body. Take this on your back in a figure four if that works best for you. 
Good, so I like to pop up on my finger pad, tuck my back toes under, and just get some length. Good, so if you've come down, hang on for just a moment, maybe come up for um, just a few breaths so we get that elongation of the torso. It's a slightly more active version here. Good, last breath. And now an option, we can take a twist in pigeon. So you can just lie your torso down or get the right hand forward and your left hand, the palm faces up. We do the, what we've done several times to begin class, we get the upper arm on the floor, the palms together. Now my head does not comfortably go to the floor, so I let it hover. Good, so prayer hands, we press down to rotate, getting into the outer hip. Good, last breath. Slowly release, come on back, let your hands find a nice firm position, lift the torso. Good, and exhale, down dog. Again, vinyasa, if you'd like to sneak one in. And you don't have to sneak, you can just do it. <laughs> but it's interesting, the, the practice has a different flavor when you take multiple vinyasas, and that is quite possibly exactly what you need. Or if you just let your body rest in down dog, that also has really beautiful benefits. Right leg. Uh, this, what leg did we just do? We just did the right leg. So if you lifted it, drop it, and then lift your left leg. <laughs> Look forward. As you come forward, take your hands forward so that you get really long. And don't rest down yet, be tall. Good, long spine. And then fold. And left hand anchors you so you can thread the right arm through. We come forearm, upper arm, shoulder, maybe side of head or maybe that hovers. Prayer hands so you can press your top hand and your bottom hand to help you revolve. Good, last breath. And slowly release. Good. And come back for just a moment, tall spine. And then as you exhale, find back, uh, find your way back to down dog. Vinyasa, of course, plenty of time. Good, and then just holding and pausing for just a moment in down dog. And then from here, reach your right leg up, bend your knee, roll your hip open. And let that right foot and ankle be super heavy. I think of it as a little bit of a weight, like on a fishing line. So that weight can help drop the foot down as the knee and hip open. Good. We'll take one more moment here, pressing equally into both hands, elongating inner thighs to inner knees. And then square the hips, look forward. Step the right foot forward between the hands. Wiggle the left toes back and drop the knee. Reach your arms up. Exhale, twist. Left arm outside, right thigh. Breathe in for a moment. Full breath out, gather in the low belly. Come deeper in, arm connection to leg connection. If you'd like, lift your back leg. There's an option here for a bind with the arms. Please feel free to take it. Keep your back leg, if it's off the floor, strongly participating. Good, last breath. Slowly release your vinyasa or right to down dog. Good, inhale, reach your left leg up, bend your knee and roll your hip open. One side of the body most likely feels a whole lot different than the other. Good. 
Good. Take one more full breath in. And full breath out. And then slowly revolve back to neutral. Left foot is forward, right foot wiggles. Drop the knee and reach your arms up. Take your twist. Right arm outside, left thigh. Don't rush, take a full breath. As you exhale, there's a lot more leverage to come deeper. Hinge yourself slightly forward. If you'd like, option to lift your back leg. Hug your outer hips in. Squeeze outer hips in, draw the low back up out of the hips and pelvis. Bind if you'd like to bind. So don't forget that the back leg is a strong um, supporter here of this posture. Keep it active. Good, last breath. Slowly release, hands down, vinyasa or down dog. Good, and then come onto your knees once you've arrived back at your down dog. And we'll stretch both arms as far forward as we can. Keep the hips lifted and come into puppy dog. Let's get into that upper back a little bit here. Opening deeper through the armpit chest. You can press the palms or finger pads down to feel a corresponding kind of lifting up of the arm bones towards the ceiling. And then on an inhale, find yourself back to all fours. Good, and from all fours, just um, sway your knees a little, or uh, actually it's your hips. <laughs> sway your hips. Okay, fine down dog. Bring yourself forward into plank and lower all the way to the floor. Roll your shoulders, open the back, and stretch your chest forward, come on down. Bend your right knee, bend your left. Do a little windshield wiper action here. Good. On an inhale, lift up. Keep the knees bent and just stretch your arms long by your sides. Good. Inhale. Let the right hand and right foot join. Let the left hand and left foot join. On your next breath, lift up. Find yourself in bow pose. Now, if a rock comes naturally because of the um, movement inherent in the breath, go ahead and allow that to happen. Good, press the shins away to stretch your arms straight. Press your chest forward. Feel the compression and the kind of um, pressing in of the abdomen. Good, release. Make yourself a pillow, rock your hips side to side. And then press your pubic bone down and release. Good, and then press it down. And release. Last time, press it down. And then release. Good. Bring yourself into cobra on an inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. So from down dog, take a full breath in. Full breath out. Come to your knees, forearms to the floor, interlace the hands, tuck a pinky in, take a breath. And then once again, lift the shins, lift the knees, lift the hips, and find yourself in dolphin pose. Option to walk your feet in much closer. So we shift all the weight to the shoulder girdle, the upper back, the forearms, put the head and neck, say a yes. You can shift, so you shift your weight forward more to the balls of the feet and the toes, and then slightly shift back to the heels. Good. Last breath. And then slowly walk your feet back if you walk them in. Bring the knees to the floor and come back to a seat. Yeah, just rolling the shoulders open and back. Okay, so from here, just shift your weight to the, it doesn't matter. 
Right or left? Legs straight, arms up, full breath. Hinge from your hips. Keep all that length you've created. Hands land where they will and you fold. And on an inhale, begin to rise up. I want you to bend your right knee, take your left hand, pinky toe side of foot, anchor with the right hand. Good, go ahead and stretch that leg up. Good, and then from here, we'll stretch the right leg up and then cross it over the body like a little bit of a twist tie. Keep that left leg anchored down, left foot flexed, now your right hand can come slightly behind a little bit more, so you can rotate more through the torso. Nice stretch for the IT band, really nice rotation for the torso, head and neck, neutral with the spine. Good, last breath. And slowly release back, slide that leg long, then the right knee, Left hand, uh, then the left knee, right hand, pinky to side foot. Stretch the leg long and then cross it over. Left hand can come further behind you. That's just a little bit of a kind of a touch point. You can begin to rotate the rib cage. So that leg is kind of squeezing, that left leg is kind of squeezing into the right, more of a twist tie action, but the squeezing comes from the outer hip. Good, release, bend the knee, and bring the soles of the feet together. Hands either to the feet, or I like tops of ankles. And just arch here, like a little bit of, if you were doing a cat-cow, it's that cow feel like arching. And then hinge, and then find some rounding for Kanasana. Option to keep the hands on the feet, maybe elbows and meaty part of calves, or you can walk the hands forward and bring them into prayer. And let the chin slightly tuck in towards the chest. If you've got the arms forward, I like to kind of like separate my toes, take my elbows to the balls of the feet and press in. So I'm pressing my elbows into the balls of the feet, but at the same time, I'm elongating my spine and then just letting the head and neck rest. Good, release. Walk your hands back, take your hands to the knees, come on up, and then just take your right knee underneath your left, Take your left leg across, left foot is on the floor. So I like to just usually like take my hands to the floor, lift my hips, and not just realign, but get a little more compact. All right, take your right hand and press it into the left foot for a moment, and lengthen your spine. Good, and now left hand is your anchor, right arm is up, full breath, and exhale, twist. You can uh, feel free to bind here if that's in your practice. Keep actively pressing into the left foot to rotate the rib cage. And come back to center and take the counter twist. Good, then release. Okay, other side. So left leg is under, right leg is over. You can lift and realign your hips. Find yourself a little more compact. Good. Lift arms up. And take your twist. Bind if it's there for you. Slowly release, take the counter. 
to come back. Okay. And come into a cross-legged seated position. So from here, I want you to take your, uh, let's see, left hand and anchor it. Your right arm is out, thumb is up. Take a breath in. Exhale, just rotate, let the thumb reach down, bend the elbow, and take the back of the hand to the low back and spread your fingers wide. Take a full breath. And then as you exhale, let the left ear drop to the left shoulder and maybe you creep the left fingertips a little further away. Option if you'd like to just begin to lift the chin up slightly. And then you can, in a really subtle way, begin to explore just a little bit of movement here. Do they had a neck? It can be very small, very subtle. Good. We'll come back to neutral. Roll the shoulders open the back and just let your right hand anchor out to the side. Left arm is up. Flip so the thumb faces down now. Bend the elbow. Take the back of the hand to the low back. Pause and let your right ear drop to the right shoulder. And then maybe there's just a little bit of curious exploration. There's some pretty subtle ways to begin to move slightly through the head and neck. Just for a slightly deeper experience of the stretch. Good, and then come to neutral. Okay, roll the shoulders open and back, and come all the way down onto your backs. Good, so we'll take a twist. So from here, option to hug the knees in, drop them to the left, just in that beautiful kind of like vanilla hagen dazs sim simple movement, or right leg over left, eagle legs, and take the legs to the left. Right, yogi's choice how the arms are positioned. You get a little assist from your furry friend, maybe. back to neutral, unwrap, feet down, hips lift and they're neutral. And then same position on the other side, dropping the legs to the right, eagle wrap if you'd like, or just a simple twist. back to center and just finding the feet, letting the hips find neutral and then bring the feet together in prayer and let the knees come wide. You can, if you want, interlace the hands and make yourself a little pillow. From here, slowly stand the feet up, lift your hips, just elongate the low back, and then make your way into Shavasana. So let the body be long, the legs long, the arms long by the side.
like, you can slowly reach the arms overhead. And just grow a little bit here. Eventually, you'll bend the knees, roll to a side, and make your way back. Drive back, join the hands in Yana Mudra, thumb and index, fingers touch, arms long, palms up. Take one more full breath in, full breath out. Take your right hand and put it on the heart. Take your left hand and place it over. And for a moment, just give yourself a little hug here. Then join the hands together in prayer. And take a nice big full breath in through the nose, pause and hold. Open the mouth and let it out. <sighs> Are Om Om Tat Tat Om Shanti Om Peace Namaste.